Hello everybody, welcome to the third tutorial of VLOOKUP function. In the first tutorial, we looked at the basic concept of VLOOKUP. We used simple VLOOKUP function to get the data corresponding to the lookup value. In the second tutorial, we discussed about a method on how to make VLOOKUP function look backwards. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking some ideas on making our VLOOKUP function error free. First, we shall learn how to get the result from the lookup value which is separated by a space, dash or any character. And second, we shall learn how can we get the same result even from the partial lookup value. So let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay now, at first we are going to make our lookup function to give the result even if the lookup value is separated by some sort of character such as space or dash. So first of all, let's copy the registration number of our intern starlight in this box. Now by using this registration number, we can easily get other related data. For that, let's use simple VLOOKUP formula. VLOOKUP lookup value is our registration number table array is whole of this table data column index number is that particular column in which we want the data to be displayed that is if we want the full name to be displayed here then our column index number will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 and range lookup function is false as you can see we can easily get the name or other related data by using the VLOOKUP function. We have used registration number as our lookup value. Now I'm going to delete this registration number and manually type it 76NKY06. As you can see our VLOOKUP value is never case sensitive that is we have used a smaller case number here but still it is giving us the correct answer. Now what we will do is we will just try to separate these letters by a space. We hit space here and hit enter. Obviously it is going to give us no result because we do not have any such registration number as 76n space ky06 here so we will make vlookup function understand that even if we have typed a space in between that number it is still our correct registration number for that we should introduce another formula here that is substitute we are just going to substitute such characters that may be space or dash or a streak or any other sign that we have habit of using and we can substitute it by a compact text so what we can do is we can use a substitute formula substitute and in the bracket we can see uh, it has been asking for the text this a15 column which is our vlookup value is the text now if we hit f4 we are making this an absolute value now in the old text obviously our old text contains a space we want to substitute that space by a compact text if we are entering apostrophe space apostrophe that means we are making it understand that we have a space in between the number if we hit comma then we want to be replaced by a new text our new text is obviously a compact text that is we want the space to be completely eliminated now we hit bracket and again we jump to the vlookup value these all values are constant so let's just hit f4 to make them absolute so again if we hit enter now this is going to give us correct answer because we have made excel understand that even if we have entered space between our number still it is our correct answer so we can try any other number here like we can use 7 space 5 space uh, y space t space x 99 and even if we enter a number in this format still it is going to give us the correct answer in so in this way we can eliminate such kind of errors if we have the habit of giving spaces in between the numbers also this trick will work okay now the next thing we are doing is using vlookup for the partial match let us suppose our intern starlight is on the telephone call and she cannot remember her registration number but what she remembers is a part of her registration number or the letters that are contained in it she may remember her number in the beginning or in the middle or at the end so let's just consider she remembers the letters n k y from our registration number so we will be using simple vlookup function to make the vlookup source for the registration number named nky so we'll just use the formula that we have used thousand times before vlookup and this is now our lookup value and the whole table is our table array column index number is 5 and 
look, range lookup is false. Obviously, it is not going to give us any data because we have entered NKY which is not in our registration number list. So it is giving us not available. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make the Excel understand that even though we have typed a part of the registration number, there are still some letters or numbers that are left to be entered in the beginning or at the end of the lookup value. So for that we will be introducing a new wildcard symbol before or after the registration number or lookup value. For that we will use a quotation mark and multiplication sign quotation mark and, and ampersand value. Now what we are doing is we are making Excel understand that there are certain characters that are left to be entered before the lookup value and we are going to repeat the same process ampersand the ampersand is acting as a concatenate formula quotation multiplication sign quotation and we hit the bracket now as you can see all these data are constant we will be using f4 formula to make them absolute so even though we are using a partial string of number we are getting the correct answer Good. so now we can try it for different registration numbers let's say xfo this is still going to give us queen mave let's uh, take a registration number from the beginning now uh, let's say seven five y now let's take the registration number from the end r97 or even we can take 97 this is still going to give us the correct answer so in this way we have learned how to avoid the different kind of errors in vlookup formula i hope you enjoyed the video now we have one last tutorial left on the vlookup function so see you in the next video